Hi everyone, here is your hump day video. I am redesigning my hand using two peachy glitters from my website, Peach Peony and Peach Puff. Peach Puff is a new iridescent um, glitter to the website and I asked for it to be cut. It's more, um, yeah, it's a medium cut. It's not really, really chunky, um, but it's got a really lovely um, shift to it. So I wanted to use it today. So we're gonna go for a nudie peach set you can see i've already got my thumb on um that was for um how exciting is this i was asked by scratch magazine to do um how i do my pink and white so yay that's why i'm wearing one thumb and then i thought well i may as well just do the rest of them to go with that so yeah i was really excited to be asked to do that yay so i've already done my base layer on the four other nails. You can see there's a little bit of product underneath. Um, it was a tiny bit of acrylic, but I've just gone over. It's not gonna affect my design. I knew it wasn't going to, so I'll just go on with the new design. Right, I'm gonna do a reverse nail bed here. So we're doing another pink and white. I have changed my brush. Um, the one I'm gonna use for the majority of the video is a size eight weapon, but I swapped to a size eight. Um, what? Uh, rainbow wand yeah um both from the website but this one's a lot smaller and i knew that i could do it in one bead with this one it's not a huge nail so straight from the cuticle making sure that the back of that bead was really flush before i even started to stretch down so once i was happy making sure that my wall is high enough my apex is in place i can come back to that nail after and refine it if i want to um, next we're going to just do a ombre and it's glitter bells that I'm using so at the bottom blending back straight away whilst it's nice and wet blend 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 you want that really soft because you don't want a harsh white line to come and ombre it over because otherwise that's when you're going to get that squashy nail which nobody wants so yeah making sure the back of it was lovely and flush I just felt I needed a teeny squidge more and I'm just going to go in there and then I'm going to be using um, a crush glitter. It's a premix one from Glitter Bells. I think it's called P Pink Crush, but actually it looks peach. I will double check. And in the description, everything that I'm using will be in there. All the links, discount codes, everything will be there. So I'm going to go with Pink Crush, but it should be peach. Unless I've misread it, which is really, really possible. So, right, we've done this, just placing that. I went straight from the cuticle, keeping my brush pretty wet so that I could just blend it straight down. Glitters are a lot easier, but I'll be doing other ones. Now, a bigger bead for this one. Are you ready for what's gonna happen? So working the cuticle with the tip of my brush, the tip of the brush will make it flush. It will poke it into place. Now you can see I come down to the belly of the brush because I want the strength of it to stretch that down the nail. Using again the tip of it and the sides just to tailor. What I'm trying to do here is a color block swoosh-ish thing. It turned out how I kind of thought. Um, it's a bit tricky, you know, you just got to work it and play with it. But the main thing is knowing what your brush is going to do. Like I said, the tip of it, the tip of the brush will make it nice and flush. I use the sides of my brush to tailor, so I'll push product in with that. And I use the belly of the brush when I'm wanting to stretch product down. I cannot stretch product down with a tip. It just feathers over it and it won't move. The tip of your brush is perfect for painting, which we're gonna do here in a minute. You'll see me blend back with the white and I'm literally painting it. It's a painting movement. Paint, 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 paint. Nice and quick tip of the brush. You can't stretch product like that. It will just laugh at you. So that's when you're gonna bring that belly of the brush in, pack some weight behind it and stretch product down. Um, I've used that when I'm doing the reverse nail bed as well. You would have seen that on the little one. You'll see it in other videos. So I use all three parts of my brush. It's not just a brush. It's got different pieces to it that will benefit your application. So we've blended backwards. We're going to go back in with Pinky Peach Crush. Making sure, nice and flush, ready? Tip, tip goes behind that bead, making it flush. Wipe it down. 
tip, 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 paint now. Oh, I'm going to paint, 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 because I want it lovely and blended. If I was to stretch and drag with the belly, I'd end up with big lumpy lines. So paint, 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 nice and wet, straight down. In a minute, you're going to see, and I'm really sorry, I had a few technical issues. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, before we go in to do that, I'm just going to cap these. So I've capped them because what I'm going to be doing is going in with my metal file and just refining that shape the on the little finger and the middle. Now you can't do a lot with that middle one, it was only the top of it that I can go in and fix. Um, yeah, the technical difficulty that I had was that my phone ran out of storage, so it stopped recording. So there's parts of it that I've missed, but it is just me putting some of the peach peony and um the pe uh, the peach puff into place um and how i did that was just by dipping my brush into my monomer a teeny tiny bead of clear acrylic and then dipping it into raw pa uh, raw glitter and working it that way but i'm really sorry it didn't record it my phone i don't know i was doing so well i'm doing so well and then it all went wrong. Um, when I get to the point that I have to delete Candy Crush, then my life's over. There's just too much on my phone. Um, I have got about 32,000 photos. <laughs> but you know what I'm like? I'm not very good at technical stuff. So I'm like, oh. And they're like, it's safe, Kai. You can delete them off your phone. They're in the cloud. I'm like, where the fuck is the cloud? I don't know. Like, how do I get them from the cloud? That would take me where I am. I've told them what Wi Fi is like. That would take me about seven years to download. Um, I'm just too scared. They're all on there. They're all on my phone. I know if I lost my phone, but then they'd be in the cloud. I guess there's someone who could help me, but for now, I'm just going like this. So yeah, so I am just crisping up that smile line and then the other one, and then we're going to go in and glitter them up. And you're not going to see that because I'm a dick. Oh, it's a shame you didn't get to see it really much like going on, but hopefully you'll get the idea of how beautiful it is in the images. And you can see the shift in it. It is beautiful. So just capping it. Um, make sure you cap this glitter quite well, um, because otherwise, like, because they're a bit chunkier, sometimes you can file them out. So make sure you work really thin so that you can avoid that work nice and nice and thin and cap it well. Um... But yeah, that, that's my design. Just a nice, nudey, peachy set. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. Please, like you saw the other day, I've, I've, I've put a little plea out. Please, if you enjoy it, please subscribe. Tell a friend. Why don't you just take their computer and subscribe on their computer? If your grand's got a computer, subscribe on her computer. I would really, really like it. Um, and these are going to be a regular thing now. Every Wednesday there will be a new video every single Wednesday because my children say I'm useless and I've got to try harder. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep pushing to do this and every single Wednesday and Archie will be on my back if I don't. So hope you've loved it guys and I will see you all again next Wednesday. Bye.